Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick update video on my mask video, the insanity of wearing a mask and how to fight back. If you have been following that advice, which is going under the Americans with Disabilities Act, uh, or any kind of other method in which you're using, a lot of pushback that we're getting from that now is discrimination of not being even allowed to enter the store. So I have a uh, way to fight back, of course, and there are actually three laws that are being broken if someone denies you entry into their store for not wearing a mask, which is a form of discrimination. Also, when someone tells you to wear a mask, they are actually giving you medical advice and it is illegal to give anybody medical advice if you are not a board certified doctor in the United States. So that would be a great way to start off your conversation is by letting them know that they are breaking that law when they ask you to wear a mask in the first place. When a store employee or manager does not allow someone who is not wearing a mask not enter the store, the laws being violated are as follows. U.S. Code Title 18, Section 242, which is a civil rights code. Deprivation of rights under color of law. Whoever, under color of any law, statute, ordinance, regulation, or custom, willfully subjects any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities secured or protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States. That is the main, most important part of that law. And then it goes on to state that uh, violation of this law will have penalties to it as severe as going to jail. So tell that to the next person who doesn't let you enter a store without wearing a mask. And the other law that's being broken is the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This act is a federal civil rights legislation that prohibits discrimination in numerous settings, including employment, education, voting, and public accommodations. Section 201A. All persons shall be entitled to the full and equal enjoyment of the goods, services, facilities, and privileges, advantages, and accommodations of any place of public accommodation as defined in this section without discrimination. And thirdly, showing discrimination towards Americans with disabilities for not allowing them to enter the store. So what you can do to escalate it further, like for example, I went to Home Depot and I was harassed and told that if I go back in there without a mask, they're gonna call the sheriffs on me. So find who your local head appointed sheriff is. The appointed sheriff is put into his position of power by votes. So it is very important what the public think of him because ultimately he gets into his position through the public. So I wrote my local sheriff, Sheriff Alfredo Ramirez, an email, and I'm still looking to get in contact with him. And I advise you to do the same with your sheriff so that when it comes time to call law enforcement, let's see what law enforcement is really going to enforce. A insane ordinance which no one has consented to or federal and civil liberties and laws. I wrote him as follows. Hi Sheriff Alfredo, my name is Juliana. I am located in Miami-Dade. I'm wanting to get your position on the mask mandates as it will determine who I vote for in the upcoming elections. And then he gives you his position and then you ask him this last question. In stores, customers are being harassed and denied entry with no mask, which violates U.S. Code Title 18, Section 242, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, Section 201, and a violation of the law by offering medical advice without being a licensed medical professional. 
Can I count on you to uphold the law when these laws are violated? Put the pressure on the sheriffs and ultimately see where, where they lie in their position. If we don't start standing up for the insane level of tyranny that is happening all over the place right now, just imagine what it's going to be like down the road. I'm telling you, if we don't nip this right here and now, what we have coming is going to be beyond our worst nightmares. So let's unite, let's get together, let's fight back, and let's fight for our human rights. It is so important that we maintain our rights and our sovereignty amongst all of this chaos. The devil is out from the curtain and he is showing you himself in plain view. So what will you do? Will you kneel down to him? Or will you show yourself to be the sovereign flame?